Welcome to our latest Hearts for Learning video. In this video we're going to play the game called Digital Placement. Okay, hello. Today we're going to play a game called Digit Placement. So for this game you need a place value chart. I'm playing it with Luke who's in year 5, so we've got a, a year 5 number range. So we have hundreds, tens, ones, tenths, hundreds and thousands. But you could make this thousands, hundreds, tens and ones, or hundred tens and ones if you want to, it really doesn't matter. This game is going to rehearse both our rounding, or working out our magnitude of numbers, where numbers, how big numbers are, and it's also going to think about our calculating, especially the difference. So I've got a place value chart, and Luke has the same. And then in addition to that, we need a set of digit cards. Now I have a set of digit cards like the children might have in school, but you can make your own. Luke made his own set this morning. Uh, and on each card, we need the digits zero to nine. Now we're gonna shovel our pack of digit cards and we're gonna pick six cards because our number has six uh, digits in it because we've got from hundreds down to a thousand. But you can change it. You could change it. So if you had thousands, hundreds, tens and ones you'd only pick four cards at this point. So we're going to pick six cards and I think we should pick a smaller number. Mm, um, that'll be good. Maybe around a hundred. Yeah or even below the hundred. Mm. So let's do... Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> let's do 98 Point seven? Yeah. Now we could, we, could we get this exact, Luke? No, it's impossible. Why is it impossible? Because it's below 100 and we have to have, and um, we have to have hundreds in because you've got to fill the balls. Okay. So it's impossible to get that. Okay, well let's think. So we now put our barrier up, so I can't see Luke's place value chart and he can't see mine. Hopefully it's going to stand up. So I've got my six cards, let's have a look at what I've got. Oh goody, I've got that one. Oh, it's looking good here. I'm very fortunate because I can put that one in my hundreds, that one in my tens. That one in my ones, and then I've got to try and get as close oh, to the no, seven. Please give me one. Please <laughs> give me one. Doesn't sound like Luke's got very good digits here. No, I don't. Right, I think I'm going to win this round because I've got very close. Right, mate, your number, Luke, is suit. Wait, it just struck me. You could get exact. Oh, okay. No, except for the di except for the ten, the hundred. And a thousand. Okay. So you because think... you could have an, uh, a zero in front of it. Ah, so you could have a zero as a placeholder in the yeah. hundreds, could you? Okay, have you got a zero? Whoops! <laughs> have you made your number? Yeah. Right, I think I'm going to win. <laughs> oh, wow. Read me your number, Luke. I won by... No, let's I'm see. I'm certain. Go on then. What? 98. Point seven one two. Okay, and I've got ninety-eight point five three one. Well, so we can round this and, and know because oh. mine rounds down to what? Oh, ninety-eight point seven one zero. Well, it's yours has to round down to oh ninety-eight point five three zero. Can you round yours to the nearest tenth? Oh nine eight point seven zero zero. So read me that number rather than saying oh nine eight. Ninety eight point seven. So you can round yours to exactly what we wanted to. What would mine be rounded to the nearest the same. tenth? Same. Would it? Wait no. What would mine be rounded to the nearest tenth? Yours be rounded to oh nine eight point five. What does that? Ninety eight point five. Do we actually read this zero? No, you can no. just basically just go like that. Right, can you calculate then? Well, do you need to even write a calculation? How far off the exact number are you? 12. 12 what? Um, 0 0.012. I mean, 1, 2. Write it down for me, how far you are. I'm 0.0. 0. 
One, two. Good boy, excellent. How far away am I then? More. <laughs> More, yeah. Should we try and work it out? So, should we do it as a subtraction then? Oh, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? No, let's not do it as a column subtraction. Yeah, do you reckon that, I could... that would be very tricky. I have lots of regrouping, wouldn't I? Should I count? Should we count on then? And I've got to get to 98.7. So to get to 98.6, I would have to add on 60.069. And then to get from here to there, I would go to 0 0.1. I know. So all together, I am 0 0.169 away. I thought I was absolutely dead set to win that one, but you've won that one. Well Yay. done. Here's a recap of the rules of how to play the digital placement game. For this game, you'll need a place value chart. If you're going to play it the same as we have done in the video, you'll need to label the columns 100, tens, ones, tenths, hundreds, and thousandths not forgetting the decimal point between the ones and the tenths. You'll also need a set of digit cards each. To play the game, you need to pick a target number. Once your target number is picked, you pick your six cards and try to make it, having a barrier between you so you can't see what your partner is making. Once your number is made, reveal it and calculate who is the closest to your target number. The person who's closest wins. This game supports a wide variety of mathematics. Due to the fact you have to decide where the digits go and which place value column to put them in, you're rehearsing and practicing your understanding of place value. When you decide to place a six, say in the hundreds column, you need to know that that six means 600 due to its position. Once the whole number is made, you'll need to think about the size of that number, where it sits on the number line in relation to the target number. This is what we call magnitude of number. Once you've made the number, trying to get as close to the target as possible, rounding can be used to check that you're fairly close. To be more precise about this, you can calculate the difference between the numbers, your target number and the number that you've made. In doing all this, you're constantly reasoning about number. The ability to reason about the decisions you make is a really important mathematical skill justifying your thinking and make drawing conclusions about why you've made the decisions that you've made. So how can the game be adapted? Depending on the age of your child, you might want to vary the place value range. In year three, the children focus on numbers up to a thousand. So your place value may include hundred, tens and ones. They also get introduced to tenths in year three. So you could ext extend your place value grid to include tenths. In year four, they do up to 10,000. So your place value chart could include thousands, hundred, tens and ones. They also increase their decimal range to include tenths and hundredths. If I was playing the game with a year four child, I would either choose to do a whole number, so include thousand, hundred, tens and ones, or perhaps involve a decimal number, but don't go all the way up to a thousands. So your place value chart might include tens, ones, tenths and hundredths. So just four digits to place. In year five, the number range increases for numbers up to a million. And they also learn to three decimal places. Like I said, for year four, I would decide to do either whole numbers. So you could choose numbers up to a million or like we did in the video, include some of the decimal points. In our video, we did from hundreds down to thousandths. In year six, their number range is much, much bigger. But again, I'd do similar to year five, perhaps do whole numbers up to a million or include some decimals. When you first play the game, rather than having a target number, you might just want the challenge to be to make the biggest or the smallest number. This means that the children are focusing just on one aspect rather than on multiple aspects. Thank you for watching another one of our Hearts for Learning videos. You can follow us on Twitter or join our Facebook group. 
In addition, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where there are more games to watch and enjoy.